Hello and welcome back to my new Let's Play of Xenonauts. Uh, once again, I will, of course, be playing it on insane difficulty and Iron Man mode because I'm incapable of playing it on anything else. Um, I will be trying to do this Let's Play entirely broadcast on Twitch. So if anybody wants to come and criticize me for how horrible I'm doing, just chat with me while I play. They are more than welcome to. Um, I've tried a few new strategies since my last failed playthrough. Uh, haven't found out too much more useful. It's going to remain ridiculously hard uh, no matter what I do apparently. But uh, there are a few more things I think I can try differently and might prove somewhat effective so that might be good. Um, I won't be reading all the uh, technology uh, researching things again because I did that on my last Let's Play if people watch that. Uh, I might do it if I actually advance farther than I did last game, may as well. Since a lot of those will be new to me as well, I'll definitely want to read them. start our base probably about the same way we did last time. Of course, buy some more scientists. May as well buy some more engineers. Oh, can't do that yet. That's right, we need living space first. Uh, I'll go ahead and do my loadout real quick. Um, I think to start out I will do let's turn the sound down here. It's a little loud. Okay, I will start my loadout with a couple of people with riot shields. I know they lose their effectiveness really quick when you start getting up against the rifles more often, but just have a couple of them starting off. And of course they will have shotguns in their backpack, so those will be much more useful than the pistols. And we'll set that as the default loadout. I'll have two of those. Actually, uh, one thing that uh, I haven't used much yet, but somebody said was pretty useful and I'd like to try it out, was the uh, C4 on breaching the alien ships. That could, uh, could prove to be useful. More so when you get to the scouts. I don't know about the, the light scouts. I don't know how helpful that will be there. But uh, we can try it out. Couldn't hurt. Uh, of course, the sniper roll. Don't need the useless pistol. Uh, I guess we could use one extra clip. And of course, the grenades. And we will set that as the default. I actually, I'm thinking of trying uh, less riflemen more snipers, and I think two heavy weapons. So, uh, we'll change this roll to a sniper. Definitely want at least two snipers. And I think we'll do one more heavy weapons, whoever has good strength and accuracy. It looks like this one. Oh, well, let's set the, the default let out. We'll have one extra clip. And then grenades. Uh, one thing that I was discussing with someone who was uh, watching me play was uh, the effectiveness on medkits after your people have died. Uh, some people say that it actually helps them live longer or have a better chance of, of being brought back after the mission. So I think that's something that I want to uh, try if I have a just a free moment to use a, a med kit on somebody that has just died and see if uh, that actually helps them survive. Wow, you do not have much strength. So we will be taking some grenades away. And I think we will try this one as a sniper and you don't have much strength either 
So what I'm trying to do is basically get the, the long range damage with the sniper and then the suppression with the heavy weapons because the riflemen are kind of in between that role. But if we can manage it properly, we might can avoid the need for riflemen altogether. Uh, we do have the two people with the shotguns for the close range inside the, uh, the ship. And we get our first alien. And of course he gets away. Because they're almost all going to get away until we get the box trots. And another one. Maybe we can get this one. Doesn't look like it. Oh, oh. There we go. Should be an easy victory. And indeed, he goes down. And we might can get to it. No, not before night. So we'll wait a few hours. How long is the trip there? Seven hours. So right about now should be good. And we've researched the alien invasion. And obviously I want the high speed interceptor. Uh, I did try a mission with the uh, the hunter scout car and I know some people were saying they like vehicles and maybe the scimitar tank is better when you get that later but uh, my hunter scout car took like half its health and damage from a pistol so I don't know if I just had horrible luck but uh, it got destroyed pretty quickly it did did get some damage off before it died but I still think having the extra firepower with the two soldiers and I mean you can't really hide the hunter scout car so it's I don't know it seemed like it was limited usefulness to me and we do have a civilian right out here actually in a pretty nice spot for us to just uh Hopefully take them out pretty quick. Indeed, our snipers make short work of them. So I, I do kind of like having the, uh, the extra snipers. For situations like that, in long range, it lets you, lets you deal out a lot more consistent damage. Where? Oh. <laughs> they really like hiding behind the trees, apparently. Uh, don't think we're going... Oh, he actually can get a shot off on him. Okay, well that's good. He will most likely be suppressed. Indeed, actually took a decent amount of damage as well. Nice, we got two civilians down in the very first turn. I'm going to look at that as an auspicious start to this Let's Play. scouting this turn and there's the alien ship this is a pretty small map I guess that would be why we saw two of them right off the bat oh and one comes out but he misses fortunately we did have a riot shield there anyways it will soak up one shot from from a rifle but I think that's all you could realistically expect from the riot shield and of course if he gets out of the sniper's way, I lose line of sight. Um, okay, we can go over here and get line of sight on him. Oh, that's a machine gunner, not a sniper. Uh, that makes me a little leery about this guy sitting there. I guess you could go out, take a shot. 
And then get out. Uh, probably a mid-level shot. And then run away from the machine gun fire. Pretty accurate. So uh, this might actually kill him. Oh, suppressed him. That's decent. I don't know if our other snipers... Oh, and he's right outside the door and can't get out of the way. That kind of sucks. Our machine gunner certainly can't. And the other snipers probably can't really get to anywhere where they can do a very effective shot. I guess we can do a... a mid-level shot. Wouldn't be able to get out of the line of fire, but he'll probably want to shoot at the person with the riot shield anyways. Uh, no, no, that's too risky. Uh, the person with the riot shield should be safe. Going to play it safe this game. Since he's suppressed, he'll probably only be able to get off one shot. Which the riot shield should be able to deflect. I don't think I've had anybody kill anyone with one shot through a riot shield. Through this game, it wouldn't surprise me to see that anymore. Okay, let's see how this ends up. And he does take a shot at the person with the riot shield, and our shield is actually still intact. Just curious how much damage. Yeah, almost destroyed with one shot. But it did save his life, so I guess I can't, uh, can't complain too much. Finish him off with some sniper fire here. Well, let's suppress him. Really? He's proving to be rather resilient. Okay, well, uh, we still have some pistols. There we go. <laughs> I was going to be a little worried if that didn't kill him. Okay, let's move our, our people up closer. Take a quick peek inside. Looks like just uh, one civilian non combatant in the back. Just going to swap out with a shotgun. Of course, to do that, you have to drop the riot shield. Actually, you might be able to just. Uh, would get a... Never mind, I'll just, uh... Oh, I guess that was stupid. Should have suppressed them first. Oh well. They lived. They'll just be injured for a mission or two. I was just worried about him opening the door and coming out, but... Probably wouldn't have happened. And he is suppressed, and now he will be dead. So, pretty easy mission, everything excellent. Got a lot of stuff to research, one person injured. Not bad. And the civilian autopsy, and the light scout UFO. And we got our scientists that we ordered. We'll put them on the interceptor. And we 
built our buildings. Oh, that means more living quarters. Since we're about to start our foxtrot, we can hire some more engineers. And since we will no doubt have a high mortality rate, we should go ahead and hire some soldiers. I'd like to avoid a high mortality rate, but uh, I'm going to be realistic here. And we've got the MiG-32 Foxtrot. We will start another research. I'm going to try very, very hard not to have any periods where I'm not researching anything. I know I did that last time. Uh, we've not finished our laboratory yet. We will go and start building a Foxtrot. And we get a, another ship. Uh, one thing I noticed on my last playthrough that I just did really quickly, just for a couple hours to try out some strategies, that I lost funding very quickly over here. Actually, this was the first area that uh, I lost complete funding on. And normally, I would just go through this month and build it first thing next month, but I think I'm going to build a new base over here just to get it up quicker. It might slow down my building this month a little bit, but it's not crucial, and that base will be up a lot, a lot quicker. Oh, a fighter. I didn't know he... I would have sent both condors out if I uh, had known that. Hopefully it'll be okay. Had a few mistakes there. But we killed him. Should have been easier. But I'll take it. And we get the fighter UFO. And we get our soldiers and our engineers. So we will throw our engineers onto our foxtrots. And we finished building everything. I think we'll go ahead and hire our 15 more scientists. Oh, uh, can we not afford that? Well, I want enough. I didn't even think about that. I definitely want enough to build another. No, I guess I can start another Foxtrot next month. So we'll go ahead and hire the scientists. Oh, except it wasn't done building that one. How far are we? 11 hours from finishing. Oh well, next uh, next ship we bring down, we should get enough money. And hopefully we'll be bringing down two of them. Oh, and we get one that's landed. Let's uh, go ahead and... Uh, we had one that was injured. Is she better now? Looks like she is. So we got everything. Nothing appears injured. So we will go ahead and try to get to this before it takes off. I don't know if we will. And we'll destroy this light scout. definitely have another mission. We might end up airstriking that one. We'll have to see how this goes. Hopefully this guy does not take off right before we land on him. I don't know if they do that. I think they tend to stay landed until you... Oh, never mind. That jerk. Uh, maybe we can get to this one. Just the one with full fuel. Hopefully they can get to that before nightfall. It'll be close. Tail that one until it's over land. Ah, oh, of course. Oh, 
Doesn't look like we're gonna get to it before nightfall, so I guess we'll have a night mission. That's gonna be fun. And I think, uh, for the sake of breaking it down into not incredibly long parts for YouTube, uh, that will do it for my first episode. And uh, I thank you guys for watching.